Hello, this is Michael Grant, CAM Applications Engineer with Applied CAX. Today's video is in response to a customer support question in regards to Siemens NX10 Post Builder. The specific question is about changing the rotary moves specifically for fourth axis uh, to another uh, units. So I will walk through um, how you can control the output units for uh, rotary moves in Post Builder. So I've started the uh, NX Post Builder. Uh, if you don't have it, you can start it under uh, Siemens NX10 and then select Manufacturing and Post Builder. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open an out-of-the-box post uh, that's attached to one of the uh, SIM kits. So I'll go to uh, the millimeter SIM03. Or actually, I have a backup of the SIM03 inch. I was doing some testing yesterday, so I wanted to use the unedited version. Um, under machine control of the post builder, so I'm on program and toolpath, um, and then the program tab. And then you have it broken down into uh, the events or sections. Under toolpath, there's a machine control. And then you'll want to select the uh, feed rates in your window. And then down at the bottom of the window, uh, depending on your post, you'll have uh, this section for feed rate modes. Uh, some older posts won't have this section. So here we have uh, rotary only. Um, you can select inch per minute, inch per revolution, FRN, or degrees per minute. Uh, feed rate number is FRN, I believe. I'm trying to remember exactly what it stands for, but I'll walk you through um, how to set that up. So what I do in order to make sure I have the uh, latest version um, of the FRN, I'm just going to see if uh, it's in here, is I just go, uh, I'm on the program and tool bath, main, uh, upper tab, and then custom command, and I'll go to import. Now this will take you to your install and some custom commands that you can import uh, for updates or additional functionality. So there's one for fix FRN, and I'll just say open, and it brings in some extra um, particular uh, custom commands, but you've also got the uh, existing one that it will update. Let's see if there's a, a difference here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of more code in the new code. And if we look at the uh, date, 11-5-2014 uh, versus 3-13-08. Uh, All right, so we'll accept that. And then if you uh, notice here, we've got uh, the feed rate number. And this is... Uh, where you can set up your own ver version of a, a feed rate calculation. All right, here we go. So feed rate number, and then um, so here. Uh, 
you can uncomment the next statement here to override the standard FRN. Um, so you have some instructions here in the comments. And so it kind of uh, walks you through the different uh, areas that you can uh, factor your own feed rate. So that covers basically all the different uh, methods. And uh, hopefully that one of those will work for you. If you have more uh, questions and would like more detail, you can contact us. Go to AppliedCAX.com. Thank you.